Rolf Dobelli, Stop Reading the News, A Manifesto for a Happier, Calmer and Wiser Life. And, Stop Reading the News, A Manifesto for a Happier, Calmer and Wiser Life. Rolf Dobelli invites readers to embark on a journey towards a more fulfilling and balanced life by breaking free from the seemingly inescapable clutches of the news. The book delves into the author's own experiences with news addiction and provides a comprehensive exploration of how news consumption affects our minds, bodies, and overall well-being. It questions the relevance of the information the news provides and how it impacts our productivity and involvement in democracy. In a world bombarded with headlines, this book challenges readers to reconsider their relationship with the news and embrace the benefits of living without it. The Dangers of News Addiction Rolf Dobelli's addiction to news started at an early age and eventually took over his life, leading to information overload and anxiety. Despite his initial goal of becoming more worldly and sophisticated, Dobelli found that consuming excessive amounts of news did not make him any wiser or happier. Instead, it left him unable to concentrate on longer articles and suffering from the negative effects of information overload. The Misleading Appeal of News The news media thrives on novelty, not relevance. Since the first daily newspaper, editors have printed the latest, most eye-catching headlines to grab passers-by's attention. Nowadays, most online media outlets rely on advertising, and advertising depends on clicks. This is why news has to be even more eye-catching and novel, feeding us ever less relevant information. We stay glued to the news 24-7, rewarding a business model that takes us away from what should be most important in our lives, our health, families, friends, and neighborhoods. The result is that news hijacks our attention and scrutinizes things we have no control over. The Negative Impact of News on Our Brain The human brain is continually reshaping, based on our habits and choices. Consuming a lot of news stimulates our nerve cells to form new connections, which can lead to negative effects. Reading news rewires our brain, causing us to develop neuronal circuits suited to multitasking and processing vast amounts of information quickly. As a result, the brain areas responsible for attention span and moral deliberation may begin to waste away. According to researchers, when we scroll through online news, our brains become accustomed to cursory reading, hurried and distracted thinking, and superficial learning, leading to a dwindling of the neuronal circuits necessary for deep thought and careful reading. This adversely affects our ability to focus on meaningful activities such as reading books. Toxicity of Bad News Consuming negative news can weaken the immune system and hinder growth, and our natural negativity bias is exploited by media that prioritizes bad news over good. When we look at the news, bad news dominates the headlines and first pages of newspapers while good news takes a back seat. This is because bad news sells better, even though it can be toxic to our health. Our negativity bias, an evolutionary trait that places more importance on negative than positive information, makes us more susceptible to the impact of negative news. The media preys on this, putting bad news front and center to get more clicks, sell more newspapers, and make more money. However, consuming all of this negative news can have a negative impact on our body, leading to weakened immune systems, hindered growth, and stress-related health problems like digestive issues. The American Psychological Association warns that around half of all adults are suffering from stress caused by news addiction, and this addiction is hard to break. Our stress levels weaken our willpower, making it harder to stop consuming more news. It's time to recognize the toxicity of bad news and prioritize our health by limiting our consumption and seeking out positive news sources. By doing so, we can improve our well-being, boost our immunity, and break the vicious cycle of negative news consumption. News consumption and its effect on helping others. Consuming news may not help alleviate the suffering of others. Instead, concrete action is needed. Have you ever found yourself endlessly scrolling through news articles about natural disasters, terror attacks, or school shootings? While it may feel like showing empathy and humanity for those suffering, 
the sad truth is that reading the news doesn't do anything to help them. In fact, it only benefits media outlets and their sponsors. Consuming every gruesome detail of others' misfortune is not only unhelpful but also potentially harmful. Instead of doom scrolling, why not take real, concrete action to help those in need? One way is by donating money to disaster relief charities or other organizations that specialize in help. It's also essential to remember that many bad news stories simply slip off the front pages, even if the situation's fortunes remain the same or worsen. Therefore, looking for concrete ways to help and taking action is crucial in alleviating suffering and making the world a safer place. So, next time you come across a catastrophic situation in the news, think about how you can help rather than just consuming the news. Breaking the news addiction Discover how cutting yourself off from the news media can improve your mental and physical well-being, and how you can achieve it. Are you addicted to news? Then you should know that this addiction is damaging to your mental and physical health. Consuming too much news makes you unfocused and stressed, and giving you a false sense of empathy. The best solution is to go cold turkey and cut yourself off from the news media entirely for 30 days. To help break the habit, delete news apps, websites, and subscriptions. Avoid watching TV news and listening to the radio. Initially, you may find it challenging to resist the temptation of checking the news. Still, the longer you go without it, the clearer your mind will become, and you will amaze yourself at how well you can empathize with others and think more profoundly. Don't worry about missing out on important events since anything significant will find its way to you through socialization. At the end of the 30 days, you'll feel more relaxed, have better mental clarity and more understanding of the world than you ever got from your news media addiction. So now you have all this free time, what should you do? Instead of scrolling through headlines, embark on educational courses, read long articles written by experts, and actual books. These activities provide a more in-depth understanding of the world and offer more mental stimulation. Break the news addiction today by taking the first step and free yourself from toxic and damaging news today. Give up the news. In Give Up the News, the author argues that abandoning news consumption allows individuals to engage more meaningfully with the world and focus on their areas of expertise. By constantly reading the news, individuals spread themselves too thin and cannot dedicate themselves fully to their passions. The message is to stay within your circle of competence and give up the news to become more knowledgeable and successful. The author suggests that individuals should focus on their area of expertise instead of trying to keep up with news from various countries, which can cause distraction and lead to a lack of productivity. By dedicating oneself to a specific field, one can become an expert and achieve greatness. The author urges individuals to be like a second surgeon, who spends her time reading textbooks related to her specialized field instead of constantly checking her phone. By giving up the news, individuals can live a more fulfilling life where they are knowledgeable and passionate about their work. The Power of Thoughtful Journalism In today's fast-paced world, many believe that staying informed requires constant news consumption. However, history shows that active citizens can stay informed through deep thinking and debate. Modern democracy's intellectual fathers, including Rousseau, Montesquieu, Hume, and Locke, didn't need mass media to develop their arguments. A healthy democracy doesn't require the constant blitz of news that we receive today. While cutting out the news doesn't harm democracy, real journalism, the kind that requires real digging, providing background information, and telling complex stories, is essential for holding power to account. It requires skill, expertise, time, and journalists with a specific area of expertise. Journalism is best suited to long articles, documentaries, podcasts, and books rather than the way we experience news today. Keeping up with current affairs can be achieved by reading publications that provide a measured summary. The key message is that thoughtful journalism is essential for a healthy democracy, not the constant barrage of news that we have become accustomed to. Dobelli's Stop Reading the News offers a compelling glimpse into the detrimental effects of news addiction, from negatively rewiring our brains to putting our physical health at risk. 
Encouraging a more thoughtful, focused, and productive existence, the book advocates for radical abstinence from the news cycle. By shifting our attention to long-form articles, books, and enriching conversations, we can remain informed citizens without falling prey to the superficiality of modern media. Ultimately, this book inspires readers to rediscover the joys of a simpler, calmer, and wiser life, where the need for constant updates gives way to a more meaningful understanding of the world around us.